Good everybody. Welcome to the show. Boom! Okay, <laughs> let's start painting that sky. Let's do it. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Paint with Josh on a Saturday night. All right. Holy moly, where are we going to go? I was figuring we'd do like a little... Uh, Little Aurora Borealis, well, a giant Aurora Borealis scene. So, who knows? What do we come across here? Just whip it right through there. Whip it good. We come down, end up in the same spot, and maybe perhaps we'll go off the edge and then come whipping it straight through. Now, let's take a little bit of extra paint and we're going to dab it onto the parts that we want to streak up higher. You want to have a little bit of extra paint in there. So, Let's come in here. We want to have some big streakages, keeping the outside of our Aurora very clean. Come up along the top. Leave our little streaky bits along the top of it, not the bottom of it, right? Just smushing the canvas, and then we're coming on the inside, leaving the outside nice and clean. I'm like that. Now, you're probably looking at this going, this is probably the worst Aurora I've ever seen, and that's okay. That's okay. It's definitely a trust the process kind of moment as we take our two inch brush looks just like this needs a haircut snip get that guy off of there you guys gonna tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich as we come in with this pressure right here look at this a lot of pressure drag it up through get all these gorgeous colors that are interacting with all of the color that we laid down on the canvas look at this pink over here it's precious oh it's just fantastic Look at that, streaking it up. Doesn't all have to match. Doesn't all have to come through and touch in different places. You can always go back in and extend little areas, make them a little bit brighter than they were before. Just coming in there, streaking them up. All you gotta do, match the angle, streak, streak, streak. We're going streaking! <laughs> Who remembers that movie? Nobody? That's fine. It's just me. It's fine. Nobody needs to remember it. It's just me. It's all good, right? Come over here with our last little bit streak up our little guy like that pull him down just a slightest little touch and all of a sudden we've got some really cool auroras filling up our entire sky it took about three seconds to do those auroras right now again all depends on what you want it to look like if you come in around your edge maybe you brighten it up a touch doesn't all have to be the same everywhere maybe we come over here we brighten this guy up just a little bit i want to leave little dark areas in between all of the places doesn't all have to look exactly the same. Maybe these guys we drag up a little bit further. There's a little more pressure back there, right? All depends on what you want it to look like, and that's it. It doesn't have to look like mine. It doesn't have to look like Bob Ross's or whoever. Bam, brand paint with Brams. It doesn't have to look like anybody's except for your own. And that's what makes it so super cool. All right now, we'll come out here, and let's mix up a good amount of paint onto our brush so we can, uh, onto our knife anyway, so we can make a giant mountain, just a ginormous, humongous mountain. Okay, we're gonna mix up these three dark colors. So what are those three dark colors? Well, you're gonna have to check the comments section below to see those three dark colors, because there's probably about a million people just commenting what those three dark colors are right about now. Let's see, Claire Dollison, pin that comment, because she knows Blue, black, and crimson. That's what we got to do. We're going to mix that up. And in the meantime, while you're mixing up your dark pile, I'll grab a little bit more of the white onto our brush. And let's decide, maybe we had a few little, just a couple little clouds off to the side, just to provide some background color. We don't need a whole lot of 
paint on the brush. All right, they can come up in here and touch into our little Aurora's. It doesn't very much matter. We'll take our paint with Bram, one inch brush, looks just like that. And we'll come up here. Remember guys, you can get this painting if you go to paintwithjosh.com. It's a brand new website made by London of the Crappy Candles. And if you want your website to look as just as good as the Paint With Josh website, then get Crappy Candles involved. Give London a call, send her a message, do what you gotta do, get in contact with her, and she can create you a gorgeous website. She did one for me. She did one for me. So if you want an awesome looking website, hit her up. The Crappy Candles. She might be in the comments right now. You never know. You never know. She's always watching from a distance. Okay, let's come back over here. And let's mix up a little bit of our dark color. And as we grab our dark color up, it's going to come in and cut all of this light color out. We don't need all of it. So let's come up here. Let's just make this enormous mountain. Just by covering up that light color with our dark paint, smushing it on there, and then we'll go back and we'll let it work its way out. But as of right now, it's starting with an enormous little mountain. Look at this. We're gonna come across. We're gonna leave some of those clouds that we had created. Leave them exposed down there like that. And we'll be able to bounce some darker foreground off of that as well. Pull our mountain down. Don't want to have it grow too stinking big. And if you do, grow up versus down. Let me come up here. Just make it even more enormous. Drag that whole sucker down this way. All right, just scooping up the paint, picking it up, dropping it off in different places. I'm sure there was a whole chunk that just fell off. So is it there? Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Aha. <clears throat> so if you want to grow your mountain, grow it vertically versus going down. You've got all that excess sky up here that you can fill and take away all those little color changes back there and really pop your mountain right out in the front. Right? It only matters what the, the top of the mountain looks like, not the bottom down here. This means nothing. You can scrape it up, get rid of all that excess paint, otherwise it's gonna grow forever. You could even make a whole nother little lip to your mountain over there if you wanted to. I mean, it's just gonna keep growing and growing and growing because we have all that excess paint on there. Now, <clears throat> let's grab a, we can still grab that Paint with Bram one inch brush right here. Come up here and we're gonna decide just based off our pressure and the angle that we're pulling on our brush, what our mountain is gonna start to look like, right? You come over here like this, start pulling out in one direction. You go, okay, that looks really cool, but we don't want the, all the mountain to go all the same way, right? So let's take it, we'll pull it this direction. Whip it down a little bit. Maybe we'll come over here, we'll be sliding it out, taking a little piece of that guy working in the other way, right? Just, just so they all go a different way. You don't have to all be the same. Come down in here, working our little angle over here. Maybe this guy's pretty vertical, like very straight up here. Woo! Ho, oh, he's a straight old drop. And then it comes down, it might hit, go down. Who knows? We'll figure it out by the time we get down there. I'm trying not to cover up my waterfall that I've got set up here. But it's going to be an awesome looking mountain, right? Take this guy off to the side, drag him out, pull him out in different directions, sliding it down away from our other strokes over there covering up whatever you gotta cover in order to pop our mountain right out in front of all that sky and all that gorgeous color out there, right? Just fantastic. Remember, she's in the comments now, I can see her. If you want your website to look as gorgeous as the Paint With Josh website, then give Crappy Candles a message, shoot her a message and say, hey, uh, I wanna work with you on building my site, please. Can you build my site? And she'll be happy to do that for you. So. Get over there, check her out. I'm gonna mix up a little white, a little blue, and grab a little of our mountain mix. Drag that down through our color as well. And we never make up enough color for whatever reason. This is a big old mountain, Josh. We're gonna need a lot of this color. Let's grab a little bit more of that blue over there. Don't want it to be too dark, all right? But you don't want it to be too sky blue either. That's gonna look all funky. Mix some of that darkness in. Scrape it down, scrape it up. Got a little roll on the end of our knife. And let's just say, I don't know. I mean, where do you want to go? We got lots of places. Why don't we go our shadows off to this side? Start whipping it down. Straight down angles like we had them. We were pulling straight down. Let's whip it straight down. And then we hit that little spot and we turned, right? And we're depositing this paint. Just letting it break off the knife. Very flat, very softly. All these little bits 
come down. You don't have to cover everything in blue. You want to leave some of those deep, dark areas. But everything off the back side of those little cliffs that might have caught some shadow back there, we got to add that light blue color as it streaks down. Right? You make it as big as you want. However big you want your mountain to be, that's how big it's going to be. Right? We come back in here, we connect it up, we do whatever you want to do. Try not to cover over our, our waterfall, but this mountain's looking so fantastic, I might just have to cover over it a little bit. Just a little bit. Now remember, that's all the negative side, the, the shadowy side of our mountain. We have to come in here and grab about five times the amount of white paint that we grabbed before, and then about one one hundredth of the amount of blue that we grabbed before. All right, then we'll come over here. We'll just make a really bright pile. And you'll be able to see that it is so bright. It's not white. It's not pure white. But it's the brightest, brightest blue you've ever seen. And next to our shadowy blue color, it's going to look pure white. All right, so we'll come over here, grab up some of that pure white, quote unquote, and come off to the side, let it drag down. All right, however it's gonna grip off of our mountain is how it's gonna start to look. Now, up into our shadowy areas, let's make it look all crazy and jaggedy. Just by taking our knife, bouncing it up into those shadowy spots, letting it drag off the side to get these really crazy little spires up there. Very cool. Very cool. And again, I'm not trying to cover up all of our waterfall, but this mountain is starting to look fantastic. We may just have to move the waterfall down just a touch, which will be fine. It'll be totally fine, guys. Watch, come up here a little higher, a little less pressure at a different angle to deposit that white so you get those cool little streaks, those different little peaks in our mountain. Very neat. Maybe this guy had a little touch back in there. We don't want to let the light colors connect, obviously. There's got to be some shadow in between. Take these guys as they spin down, they drop down over here, getting little bits, a little lighter, a little darker, whatever you want yours to look like. That's what I always say. It doesn't have to look like mine. You can bring your whole light color over here. We have to build our mountain as it comes down the hill. We get a little bit more on our knife, drop it off across the edge back here, just so we have that excess brightness that we can play off of, right? Very cool, guys. Look at that. You don't want it to all be the same. It doesn't all have to connect or start and stop. You know what I mean? You want it to be all broken and weird like that. Oh, it's almost like the heart of the mountain is just going to bleed right out into this waterfall, you guys. Holy crap, did we just get a sale already? What is going on over here? No way, guys, no way. Let me see. That is this painting, holy cow. I don't even have my sound effects machine ready. Oh, that's, that's the wrong button, hang on. Hey! Cha-ching, we got a sale, guys, already. So, uh, who, is, uh, who is it in the comments? You have to, um, all right, you gotta tell me. Since your name doesn't match your screen name, right? Tell me what state... Holy crap, it's the first time I've ever sold to that state, too. What state is it going to? And what's the last two digits of your zip code? And be careful, we're going to have a light show in about 10 seconds. What state is it going to? Okay, what's the last two digits of your zip code? Just the last two. That'll confirm. Perfect. All right, let's have a light party. Hang on, we got to get the music. Where's the music? The music! That's the wrong music! <laughs> Where's the other music? Ah, I don't know! Why do I always hit the wrong button? In, in any case, <laughs> I can't get the sound effects right, except for the laughter. That one works. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the sale. My goodness, what a party we're having already. Man, so everybody start getting, uh, getting your suggestions ready. For, what was their screen name again? What was the screen name? No thanks. That's the screen name. That's awesome. So start getting the uh, suggestions ready for no thanks, as uh, they're gonna need help naming this painting as it gets down to it. Right? You're gonna have to name the painting as it gets closer. Number one thousand and eight. Whew, whew, whew. That's a lot of paintings. We're gonna come in here like this. A little bit of pressure, and as you can see. Just how blurry it makes it, right? It makes it look a little bit further away, a little softer, a little farther out than this stuff, which looks more close now because we haven't done that yet, right? Now we have to go in the order and the direction that we went down with our knife. You go in the opposite direction up with your brush. So all this white that we were coming down this way, go very lightly, very lightly, not trying to smoosh it, not trying to move the paint, just trying to soften it just a little bit. 
leaving all the details, just not having it be so thick. My goodness, we love the thick sometimes, but holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, wow, she already named it Piece of Home. That's cool. That's cool. Well, in any case, guys, I always say, you know, the buyer could have their name chosen, right? Could be already chosen, but they could be swayed by one of the names that comes through the comments. So at any point, if you've got a cool name for this painting, drop it in. And by the time that we're finished, the buyer might change their idea. I don't know. Plus, uh, we get to do the spinny winny wheel. Why did I say that again? It's the spinner winner wheel, which is right here. At the end of the show, you're going to win a free uh, item from Paint With Josh or the crappy candle. Could end up winning a crappy candle, which is the best gift, if you ask me. The best freebie on the list. So, like I said, back in here, a little lightly, very light. Up in here, very soft. We're not trying to move the paint. We're not trying to do anything. Just trying to make it look soft and in the distance. That's all. A little softness back there. Woo! 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 Now we're gonna come in with the brush, same brush, and tap it in and mix it down in those little, same little angles. Like we're building more of our mountain. We're building it, we're building it, we're building it. We're coming this way now, right? All those streaks were going one way, now all these guys are coming this way. So we turn our brush, we rotate it down, we tap up and we're bringing some of that light color down into the mist, into the fogginess. All right, once we've done that, we can come back and mix up a little circle just a little soft little circle. All right, the more that you mix it, the softer little fogginess it becomes. Gorgeous. And all we're trying to do is have a little bit of light color to bounce our dark colors off of. That's it. That's all you gotta do, guys, remember? <clears throat> now we're gonna go back into our dark color. And if you wanna find more amazing things, go to paintwithjosh.com. And if you like how paintwithjosh.com looks, because it is amazing now, then uh, give my friend uh, London over at Crappy Candles, uh, send her a message and tell her you want her to fix your website because that's what she can do for you. Now, let's mix up a little bit of that dark color in here. We're gonna go like this, mix it down. Actually, let's probably make some more. We never make enough. So a little blue, a little black, a little crimson. The three favorite mix, the tri-color madness, something. We gotta, we gotta come up with a name for it. We gotta come up with a name for the the tricolor mountain tree shadow mix something or other. Bah. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to give you guys some good screenshots to take. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome. We've already sold the painting. So thank you to the buyer. And uh, we're going to have an excellent time. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Boop, you guys like that. Boop. <laughs> so tell me where you're watching from, guys. What's your favorite sandwiches? And it's the spinner winner wheel, crappy candles, okay? I said spinny winny on accident. That doesn't count. That doesn't count towards the title. It was an accidental flub. A little flip of the, of the, of the literal flibbity flubs. And I don't know what I meant to say. I didn't mean to call it the spinny winny wheel. That's not what we meant to say. Okay, let's come back here though. And let's decide again. I want to have, I want to incorporate that waterfall somehow. I prepped it for a waterfall. We're going to have a dang waterfall. But we've got to pop these trees in. So let's come in here. A little bit of darkness, not up into the highest points of our snow, right? You don't come up into the high parts of the snow. Just down into that misty bit. When you're in that misty bit, then it becomes lighter. It becomes easier for the snow to stick. Our dark colors stay dark because it's not trying to mix in with all that white paint. All right, come up. Maybe we'll, st oh yes, let's stop our trees right there. All right, we'll have our waterfall cut through the trees. It's gonna be awesome. Come over here, grab up a little bit more paint. Off to this side, come down over here. Up and down and up and down and up and over and over and up and down and up and over. <laughs> and whatever else. Over here, we don't have to go all the way to the side though. You leave like an inch or two or three to the side, doesn't matter. The further that we come to our foreground, the more to the edges that we fill up to then become closer to the camera, right? Just like that. Just like so, you guys. Now, we're going to take our two-inch brush. It still has a bunch of paint on it from before, but it doesn't matter because we're, all we're messing with is the dark color, right? So we're going to take it, we're going to grab a little bit, and as we get to the top, we pull our brush away. We get to the top, we pull our brush away. Right? We're not trying to drag it so far up into the snow that it drags any of that or mixes with the color, right? Very little 
baby things. And you can see all these things down here. These don't matter. Don't worry about those little marks down there. We'll get to those in a minute. All right, come in here, grab it, slide it up, slide it up, slide it up. All we're doing is filling in all of those little spaces. So now it's a full forest that you cannot penetrate. You can't see through it, right? Now, let's decide. We could still say, I mean, the waterfall could be enormous. We could do whatever we want to do. But in any case, just because my brain is irritating, let's just fill in this little bit, just at the top. Just a little touch, that's all. There we go. Doesn't need to be so far down. Now we're going to take our brush and we're going to start to dab at the canvas and bring some of that color down, just creating our little bit of foggy mist as we go down and down and down and down. And it's all it's doing is softening it for our next layer. Right? We're not doing anything difficult. We're just mashing it, smushing it, pushing it, mixing it. Each little time it mixes in. Mix, 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 mix. Each time we bash it in like that, right? Take the bottom, work it out. Don't need a whole lot of mist back there at the base of those guys. And the more paint that you have on the canvas, the harder it's going to be to then continue to add. So remember that. Remember that. Let's get a waterfall going, you guys. Who's ready for a waterfall? I know, I am too, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I, please stop it, stop. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's come back in. Let's decide where our waterfall came out of. Maybe he was coming from back here, and we got to a certain point and just went, shoo, fell right out from the edge of the forest. Hoo, 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 that's fire. Look at that, out there, shoo, fall down. Straight, very straight down. Shoo, right? Doesn't need to be super detailed. You don't need to see every single piece of this river taking it back either. That's all you got to do. Make a fat little seven out there and you're all set. Take our two inch brush. No paint on this one. Brand new, clean two inch brush. Don't want to have any paint that's going to dilute this gorgeous color. Look at that. The more and more we swipe on it, the further and further away it becomes. We don't need to see every single bit of it, right? Really don't. Swipe it out. now. We've got to take something and put it out there to hide where our river is coming from. Obviously, obviously I have to have some sort of something out here. So let's take a bit of our darkness, come up, kind of hide our bit of our river where it's coming out. Right there, just a little touch. You can even see a little bit of it behind the rock back there. A little piece of our rock hanging out. Maybe we drape that guy down, cover over the back. We can add a couple little pieces to him. It would be like the water came and just fell out right into the sky. Just fantastic. Now, let's come over here and let's grab up a little bit of our same dark mix that we use for the trees, that we use for the mountain, that we use for this rock. Same dark mix. And let's come over here and just pop a few little guys down like that, right? We're going to turn our brush. We're going to smack it against the canvas at the right angle as it comes down. Fills up just a little space next to our rock. That's all we're going to want to have. Little space. Now, let's go back. Maybe he's got one more little friend as he's whipping his way around the front over here. A little bit shorter of a guy. All right, we've got to have his trunk stand out. There we go. A couple little branches. The more you, more you go, the more you push. Pop, 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 pop. Little fat, little ugly little trees out there. That's all you got to have. All right, little things. Because all they are are the shadows of our trees that we're going to see. It's nothing super detailed, nothing really crazy. Take this guy and stalactite him down a little. Just drag him down like that. Very cool looking. But we're sort of wondering where this water that comes from nowhere, Josh, where does this water land? Where doth it land? Well, maybe it came down and about a quarter inch, half an inch underneath our water and we start coming back and forth and side to side. We came over here and are going to start to reveal all of our colors are going to start to change. Maybe our water was real big. This real big little lake back here. The more you add, the more it gets, right? Now, let's say towards the end of this lake, we're going to roll off our cool little bit of a waterfall right down there like that. And perhaps maybe he hits another little pond down in here. This gorgeous little bluish whitish pond. It's going to be really neat. Really cool. The more we spread it out, the more it's going to start to look like water. Right? It's going to stretch, and then we're going to fill in our spaces. We're going to cover over the areas that we don't want to see. 
soften that guy down. A lot of pressure down here as we really stretch the water. Stretch it, stretch it. Don't have to go all the way to the edge of the canvas, right? Got a little bit of pinkish water down there with the blue falls, the pink falls. Oh, it's going to be fabulous falls is what we're talking about. Now, let's get a little bit of that white onto our brush. And underneath our falls, we're going to have to create some mist. We're going to take a little bit and just dump a little paint out there. That's it. Leave it just dark. <laughs> Don't leave it like that. <clears throat> Who's going to leave it like that? That would be silly. I know. <laughs> hey, let's come over here with our, with our pressure, right? We're going to decide how far do you want that mist to go outwards? Because you can take it and you can really push it and really get it to go out to the side. Or you could just have it be very light and not try to move much at all, right? The less that you move it, the less that you push on it, the brighter it's going to remain. The more you push it and stretch it and blend it, the more it's going to mix in with those deeper, darker colors off in the distance, right? Look at that. You don't want it to be this straight old thing. You gotta have all these crazy bits of mist and different heights, all sorts of stuff. Looks fantastic like that, if you ask me. Now, what's the most important piece that we left, right? In between the mist and the lake. It's that most important part that we left back there. What do we call that? What do we call that most important little separator? Thank you, Gregory. I appreciate that. The dark separator says Joe Moonshadow. Pin that comment right there. Right? You have to leave that little dark line that separates those two colors. They're the exact same colors. So if they touch together, we've lost all of our depth. We don't know what's water, what's mist, because there's no little separator in there. You got to cut it up. Separation. Man, that looks cool. Then you can go back and add little bits of water and little stuff later on. <clears throat> Let's decide what we want the rest of our scene to sort of look like, right? The mist off in the edge. We've got a couple little trees back here, which may need to get a little bit bigger. Now that we've got our things sorted out, maybe they come down just a bit more into the foggy mist, right? They're sitting back here on a little outcropping or something, right? Over the side. Man, that's pretty right there. Holy cow. All right, let's take that guy and we'll add a bit of, maybe he's got this little ledge he's out there sat on. Just whoosh. The more that we pull out from this guy, all right, the softer it's going to be. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. That looks really neat. Take a little bit of our darker paint, just so it's real dark on the bottom, because that's the part that needs to stay dark. It can mix in and get light over the edge, but we got to keep that spot dark. Now our land can kind of wrap around and we can figure in where we're going to cover certain places around our water, right? Same thing here. We'll have a whole bunch of rocks and different things that are popping up and covering over where our water is. You don't have to show every bit of it, right? You never want to show every single piece of every single thing. That's not going to work out well for anybody. Now let's come back in since we're struggling to always make up enough paint and let's decide on a color back here. We've got our brown. Let's cut the skin in the brown. There we go. Get some of that paint out onto the palette. There we go. Grab a little touch of white, mix it in with our brown, just a little smidge. Remember, this is a nighttime scene. You don't want it to be the brightest, super bright uh, brown you've ever seen out there. Okay, we can take some of this guy and just whip it down off the edge of that rock, letting it fall down towards the side, right? Very cool. Lots of dark spaces in there where our little critters can live. Maybe we take a little bit of that same color. We'll use it for some tree trunky bits on the edge of our trees, which may end up getting covered. Who knows? If they do, they do. If not, then they don't. <clears throat> Let's come back, grab a uh, little fan brush, just like that. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to get some liquid white out because we ran out of it in our little tub today. So let's come over here, grab that bit, shake it up, get it out there, and then let's come back. We got these greens too. These are going to be gorgeous. Okay. Take a bit of our liquid white, dump it down in front of the green, and then work our green into it. Right? And that way, it stays kind of darker green. It's not the brightest thing you've ever seen out there. Right? Little bits, and the more liquid whitey that it is, the, the lighter or easier it's going to come off. Say so all of our color was coming from one direction, so we'll touch over here. 
So smacking up on one side, not trying to cover every single bit. All right, a little bit on its sides over there. Gotta have a dark side to your tree, remember. Can't have every single piece be lit up the same. We come out here, we get our little taps going. There we go. Once you go, you gotta go, you gotta move, right? You don't wanna have too many little taps all in one place. Especially covering up all of our little dark areas. That's gonna irritate us. There we go, a couple little trees out there. Just sitting out on the edge of that rock. All right, maybe we'll grab some more of that brownish color that we had created. And we'll come off the edge of this guy, just the top though. We drag down a couple little bits in different places just to see that the rock does have a bottom to it. It's got a big old bottom on that guy. Slide that out that direction. Whatever we want to do. You could have a whole little path come in from this side if you wanted to. You could do whatever you want. But remember, we're going to put a big old monster tree right here in the front. So nothing too crazy, all right? Let's go back and mix up a little bit more of that dark color with our black, crimson, and blue. And the reason why we mix it up so many times is because you don't have to, we're trying not to overuse it, right? We're, we're not trying to use every piece of paint that I have out here on the palette all for this one painting. And like I always say, you can always add more. You can never take it away. Once it's up there, it's up there for good. And you can't get rid of it. Now, let's come in here. Let's get some crazier rocks up into here with our knife. Just really jiggle it up into there. Covering over some of that deep pond that we've got going on, right? Up here, maybe we'll have these rocks connect into this guy. Just make them jagged on the edge. Dragging it out. We'll drag them down. We'll have this really cool color down there. Oh, I can already see it, right? Can you see it? Come up into here. A little craziness in those rocks. They don't have to be the most roundest things. I never like them to be round. I want them to be all jagged and nuts. Just nuts crazy on these guys. Come up, turn the knife the other way. Use the back side to use your little jagged bits. Whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do is what you gotta do. We're gonna pull this guy down to our water. Right, not really going all the way down, but look at that. Now we've got a, a little pool that's being held up by all these jagged rocks. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Right, come over here. A little bit, just let it go off to nothing on the side. Literally nothing. There's darkness over there. You're not going to see all that. Now, there would be one enormous tree that would come down and live on this guy in my brain. In my brain. He's already there. So let's grab him up. A little bit of our mead and black. The rest of our dark mix. On the fan brush, nice and thin. And here comes your bravery test. Above the mountain. Thicker as we go down, more and more and more and more, 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 boom! Big old giant, right? The more you come down, the more you push in, extending the bristles of the brush, making the branch and the trunk fatter, right? Fatter at the bottom, skinnier at the top, just like that. Now we can come in and do some gorgeous stuff with this paint with Bram liner brush. You guys know how long this liner brush is? What's the distance between the earth and the sun? That's how long this line of brush is. What's it like, 96 trillion miles with a T? Trillion miles? It's, it's probably a billion. 96 billion miles long. That's how long this line of brush is. I'm not kidding. It's enormous, but it makes the most fantastic, the most amazing scraggly little branches that you've ever seen. If you guys know me, you know I love my scraggly branches. Oh, right? You see why we added the clouds back there? To have that light color to bounce all these little scraggly monsters off of. Anywhere you got a little bit, throw off another little crazy little branch. This 94 billion kajillion mile long paint with brand liner brush. I suggest you grab one if you don't already have one. Looks like a little hand over there. Ooh. Come off of this side, cut right through those mountains with our first go. Go back, load it up with our paint again, right through the same track, depositing the darkness. Keep doing that until it's dark. All right, go back into that same track, fill it in. Just like that. That'll keep our branch separated from our mountain back there. Very neat. Maybe this guy's got a big old monster over here. Boop, just reaching up, reaching out, trying to go wherever it wants to go, guys. But again, whatever the distance between the sun and planet Pluto, or, you know, 
what the hell they call it now. It's not a planet anymore. It's like a, like a dwarf object, something in the Kuiper belt. That's about how long this Hayward Bram liner brush is. It's only about the size of our solar system. <laughs> ah, what else is huge? What else can we say this brush is? Because it's enormous. But again, the most fantastic brush. Like, if you had said to me, hey, uh, Paint with Josh, what do you think about this brush? I would be like, you're fucking crazy. You are nuts. Are you really going to put that out to the public, this enormous brush? No way. It's the best brush I ever used in my life. Not even kidding. Not even joking. One little teeny tiny bit. I never thought I'd be able to use something that big. But it makes the most fancy, sharp little branches that you've ever done did seed right there. Oh, amazing. 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 I love that. I hope he tunes in one time when I'm talking about his brush. Because each day that we use it, the length of the brush gets longer. So, I mean, you know, initially it was like 17 inches, and then it became like 9 meters, and then it went to like 93 miles. Now we're, I think, 93 billion miles. So, however big the size of our solar system and our Kuiper belt, now we're getting to outer space, guys. That's how long this brush is. It's an outer space brush. That's, <laughs> you could literally be in the Oort cloud and paint at home at the same time, because it's as big as our solar system. Let's come back in here with our little brown on our brush or knife and we'll come back little teeny tiny rotated strokes like little bits because this tree's a big monster we got to cover him up with a lot of this light color in order to have him stand out little bits don't have to go all the way to the top doesn't have to match every single place doesn't have to be as bright as every other place come back in here start tapping against him Right, leaving his little branchy marks and his barky bits. And you'd be able to run your fingers across this tree by the time that it dries and it will be, it will feel like literal bark on a tree. Just amazing, amazing. Little bits, little bits. Little teensy, tiny touches is all we gotta have. Just have it deposit a small little amount on the edge of some of these little branches just for that little bit of color is all we're looking for we're not looking for a whole bright branch we just want one spot or two on each little branch that's going to take just a little piece of that color oh yes oh yeah oh yeah a little bit all we're asking one little touch that's just going to guide your eye up to that branch you're going to go Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Over there. Over there. Not every piece needs a bit of brown. Just like that. Very cool. Very cool, you guys. Now, we got to do the whole rest of our rocks and stuff, which is slightly easier, right? We don't have to be so gentle with these guys. We can come around here. We can grab it and whip it down, leaving little light areas, little dark areas. Little bits where the, the light just can't reach down, pulling in different directions even, right? They don't all have to go the same direction. Get these guys to slide down that way. Grab a little bit more. Maybe we come back from this side. Maybe we take our tree out. Slide it down from that side. Get this cool, it almost looks like a almost looks like a little shell down in there. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. We come off of this guy over here, a little bit of brightness. Allowing the back side of him to be dark again, right? Little bits, doesn't all have to be the same amount of brightness. Remember, it's a nighttime scene. We don't need to see every single piece of every single thing. Man, that looks cool, it's like a little ridge. Wraps its way around. Just a little touch, oh, that's all I wanted. A little touch off into the night. Off into the night, you guys. Holy majoli. That is one sweet, sweet looking painting right here. But we need something right here on the side. We gotta have something, something back there to fill in that little bit of excess area. <laughs> Acting more like stand-up comedy. I know, I, I, I feel it, I feel it. By the way, tell me where you guys are watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? This painting already sold, but you can find more on paintwithjosh.com. But that's not why I say it. I say it because paintwithjosh.com is brand new. And the crappy candles right here in the comments 
uh, redid my uh, my website for me, and she can redo your website. Send her a message, work out the deals, and uh, poof, you're going to have an awesome site just like paintwithjosh.com. It's going to be fantastic. Going to be fantastic. Now, let's use the last, I mean, maybe not the last of our paint, but one more mix-up of our dark mixture. We'll get the dark mixture. By the way, next week, next weekend, next Saturday, I'll be uh, live painting against two other artists inside City of the World Art Gallery. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I think it's going to be at 11.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Saturday. And uh, we're going to stream the last hour of it. So most of our paintings will already be complete. And then you'll kind of choose which one you like the best out of whoever else battles against me. Obviously, come on, guys. Come on. You know who we're voting for. Come on. But it's going to be fun no matter what. I think I'm going up against like a, like a portrait artist and a abstract artist. So going to be totally different versus what I paint. You end up, you might like theirs better. I don't know. You could if you do. That's fine. We're not friends anymore. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, let's come over here. A little bit bigger, a little bit more in our foreground. Poof, we'll sit him right on the edge of that rock right there. Right? And instead of being a little sticky tree like this guy, let's come in with an enormous amount of paint. And I'm talking about so textured that you can see it from space. You'll be able to see it from where paint with Bram's liner brush reaches all the way out to literally outer space. That's how much paint you want to have on here. It's like the Las Vegas Strip. You want to be able to see it from space. Space, space, right? Can you tell how much thick, chunky paint? You can see it. It's like casting its own shadow. Yeah. There's so much thick, enormous paint on here in a very deep, dark color that's casting and covering all the other shadows up. That's what we need to do. Now, we're going to go wash all the darkness off that brush because I don't think we're going to need it anymore. This will be the final brush, the final tree, the final touches. I think that's the first time we've actually washed a brush in 45 minutes. 45 minutes, and we're just barely washing brushes now. See how lazy I am? What a lazy painter paint with Josh is. Oh, what a bum. <laughs> Oh, he's a total bum. Paint with Josh. Oh, I gave up watching him because he's just too cute. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with a reason. Trying to come up with a reason. I couldn't stand watching because he's too cute. Go like this. And go like that. Oh, man. This is going to be a gorgeous little tree. Fantastic. But it's big enough that we can uh, incorporate two different colors as our shadows, right? We don't just have to have our our bright green and our, our dark shadowy black back there. Those don't really have much detail. They're way far off in the distance, right? This guy is gonna have a little bit more action to him. So let's get a little of our sappy green just right onto the brush. I don't wanna have too much of the liquid white into it because we don't want it to shine very brightly, right? There we go, gotta get that chunk of skin off. I mean, you know, I want textured paintings, but geez, come on, what are we doing over here? Let's come off to our side, and off of the back side, let's just add little bits of that greenery, right? That super dark sap green, just to take up little places where it's not all dark, right? But we're not trying to cover every single bit of the tree in that sap green color either. We want to retain all those dark areas, because if you don't, you're not going to have any depth in your tree, right? Look at all back here. All these little spaces where a little squirrel could run in and hide inside the dark space. Maybe that's a chipmunk with his little, he's got uh, uh, acorns, nuts in his mouth. Yeah, I said it, I said it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you gotta have those dark areas if you wanna keep places for our little critters to live. And that way you're gonna retain a lot of depth in your tree because you have those very dark spaces. That's why we use that dark color to create the depth, the deep darkness that you need to have. We do it for a reason. 
All right, let's come over here. I've only cleaned one brush throughout this whole process. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my liquid white onto that same brush. We're gonna come back into our same green, but now it's gonna be a much brighter green like it was before. Dabbing it in, mixing it down, not trying to touch my brown pile over here. Don't wanna have any white on the showing through on either side, right? So we take our green, come over here. We're gonna touch lightly. Every other time we've been smooshing so hard, right? Except for back here, we were touching so light. But initially we're smooshing hard. Now comes our finesse. How lightly can we bounce and touch and leave little baby things back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? How many times can you do it without covering up all those deep, dark spaces? And then how much of our shadowy side can we light up with a bit of our brighter touch, right? Got to leave some shadowy area back in there. Can't have everything be all the same bit of brightness, right? But sometimes in a few little brighter areas, a few little darker areas throughout our whole tree. Fantastic. Bop, 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 bop. Look at all that depth filled. Just brings it right out into your face, man. Holy cow. Holy cow. What a depth filled tree. Thanks, Josh. Oh, I appreciate it, Josh. No worries, Josh. Just here to boost your ego, Josh. Oh, I thank you, Josh. I love it. I love it. That's why I keep you around, Josh, because you're always boosting me right up. Taking the ego sky high. All right, guys. This one's just about done. Let's add the old family. And then we'll come back. We'll decide if the name remained the same throughout the whole painting or if the buyer perhaps might have chosen a different title for it. Just maybe. Just maybe somebody might have swayed them. Now I'm gonna pull out a little bit of the white, very thin, get it on my knife, way back here. Maybe we have like just a couple little bits of something. We don't wanna to see too much. Up here, much more, right? We can see all these little things, all these little waves and little different bits and there's more details up front, right? And what else are we missing up front? Just a little bit of a cloudy mix. Not as big as our one in the back because it's not dropping as much water back there. We'll come in here, little messiness. Trying to keep that little dark separator in there too. Very cool, right? Falls down, drops down. We got our whole bit of our white, our river. We can run over this way and that way. Anywhere it wants, little bits of stuff everywhere. Just fantastic. These guys up here, a couple little bits as they get closer and closer and closer. It's gonna be awesome. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. Now we'll come back in over here. There we go. Excellent, you guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, now, this very front waterfall, we need to get a lot of paint onto our brush. Come over the side and down so it's very bright and very full of details. Little diamonds in the sky as they're shining down, right? It's the closest bit of falling water to us. It should be the brightest. Dragging it off a little bit backwards to the side. Just helps it lean up and fall over the edge. Very cool, very bright. Right, now we come in with one of our little teeny tiny lighter brushes. Uh, sorry, little fan brushes. Little teeny tiny guy with good flickability, as they say. We're gonna grab a little bit of our liquid white, put it out here on the edge, and then whip it through, casting just a couple little bits of spray water. All right, we can do the same thing up here in our sky to create the most gorgeous star-filled sky you've ever seen. Pop, 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 everywhere. Just fantastic. My goodness, my goodness. This guy right here, we're gonna come up just a little bit, just mess him up, a little touch, that's all we need. A little touch, and just like that, guys, I'm gonna grab that 19 billion mile long liner brush again. This thing is literally, oh, you know what we were saying in Discord last night? It's literally one light year long. That's how long this liner brush is. One light year. Like, we started painting with this last year at the speed of light, and it's now taken just now for the, the liner brush to touch the canvas. Oh, God. Look at that. Fantastic. Holy cow. Have you ever 
done one that's just like goes beyond your expectations. Do you ever? Do you, does anyone else get excited like me when that happens? Like, wow, that went beyond my expectations. Let's try to uh, let's try to do that again. Let's try to do that one again, right? What the hell going on with this huge liner brush? There we go. Very cool. <clears throat> now, let's get us all spun around and turned around, and we can see some comments, answer some questions, be ready for a jump scare right here. Ah, I know, it's crazy. Let's turn us around over here. There we go. Back to the good stuff. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. This one came out really good. I like it. I like it. Paintwithjosh.com. Let's see. Paint on the face? No. <laughs> what am I doing? You guys are just screenshotting. You're just, that's just another, another chance for a screenshot. What do you think of the uh, orange hats, by the way? Very, like, hunterish. I dig it. I dig it. How's this for a screenshot? Does this one look good? Oh, I wasn't even in the screen. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> um, I don't know why you guys watch me, honestly. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, this part, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Do I have more paint on my face? No, I think we're good. I, I don't know how it gets on my face. This is called the painter's shower. You just take a paper towel roll all over. That's it. Anywhere that could possibly get any paint, and that's the painter's shower. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Follow me for more tips. <laughs> I should really do that, actually. I should make a video of that. Like the painter's shower. Follow me for more recipes. Hey, get all this paint up out of here. We got to clean off all the brushes. You guys got to start coming up with a title. And then we can title it. We got more people favoriting the Etsy store right now. You guys are amazing. Remember, if you go over to paintwithjosh.com and you like how it looks, and if you've ever seen how it looked before versus how it looks now, you'll be amazed at what London can do building you a website. So right there, the crappy candles. She wants to come in. She's knocking on the door. Man, I wish I had a door knocking sound. Hang on. Okay. Welcome. Why does it sound like I just broke the window to get in? <laughs> that's my, that's my glass. It's, it sounds like to me, like someone's carrying a, pl a platter full of plates and then they drop it all. And it <laughs> um, want to tell you that the buyer is still with their original name. They have not okay. been swayed. Piece of home is what it is. Um, and now I'm here, my screen's gone black, so that's super awesome. So you could literally do anything you like and I can't see you. <laughs> so I'm going to drop out, exit TikTok, and be right back. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Ah, uh, for some reason, I got paint on my hat. Brand new. Brand new hat. Already. Already, guys. Already. I know. I got a blue tongue because I had, um... They make these things called Laffy Taffy Duos. I think they're called Duos. And they mix two different flavors, right? And so the one that I just had last was the blue, no, it's like the wild berry and banana. And uh, it kind of turns my tongue a little blue. Hey, I can see you again now. Hey, what's happening? Uh, you did not play my entrance music, which is me dropping a bunch of plates. Oh. <laughs> She's here! I've got paint on my, on my thingy already. Aww. That is atrocious. Yeah, hang on, I, I have a sound for this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, no. that's oh, horrible. Uh, that. Right, What's the other sound? Is it... That's it. Okay. The clown noise for your blue tongue. It makes a lot of <laughs> sense. And then there's, there's also something that we can't use on TikTok, right? That guy. And we can't use this guy either. I don't even want to say the names. Yeah, either you, can't, you things. can't do either of those. I'm, I'm very impressed that you are picking up the lingo that we cannot say <laughs> in this. Hey, Josh, can you say that? No. <laughs> 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 
Oh dear. Oh, that, so, that, that thing was twenty dollars. That little that little machine bought, bought you so much joy. Priceless. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> So, everybody, while Josh cleans his palette and uh, remains to get paint everywhere while he painter showers his table and everything else that he owns, uh, you can head over to paintwithjosh. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do anything. You can, you can head over to paintwithjosh.com, and that's how we do our makeup. So that's that's, <laughs> that's it. That's exactly how we do it. Yep. <laughs> Um, any left on the on the paper towel obviously didn't feel like sticking to the face. If <laughs> you were to do that, I would cry very, laughing. I felt like the like the air like oh. blowing across the face. <laughs> it was very close. <laughs> if you are interested in any painting that Josh paints, he does paint five, five nights a week, and an extra an extra live that you guys get is Monday uh, Monday okay. morning. Did we decide on 10 or 10.30? 10. 10. So 10 a.m. on Monday. That was my phone. For anybody who plays Mario Wonder, that is the sound when you turn from Mario into Elephant Mario. Um, so 10 a.m. Monday morning. You don't have that sound, the special sound. Um, <laughs> you can uh, tune in right here on TikTok. So six paintings are up for grabs every week. He does not paint Tuesdays or Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time, which would be 1 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Mountain time, noon Central time. You can tune in right here and watch Josh paint something else that falls out of his brain. Um, I would also just like to say that Josh has never seen the Aurora Borealis, so he doesn't just paint things that he's seen. He just comes up with this stuff. So if you're sitting here going, oh, he just, he must have seen that on a recent trip to Alaska. No, he didn't. Um, so please, please, please come back, join the live. It's always a great time. Um, and it, it's just, it's just great. Uh, if you are interested in this or leggings or a sweatshirt or a hat or a puzzle or a sticker, you can head over to paintwithjosh.com. Josh is always decked out in everything that he owns. He leaves the house like this for anyone who's interested. Uh, this painting did sell within the first 30 minutes of the show. But as always, he will be back tomorrow night and twice on Monday. So you have three more opportunities in the next 72 hours alone to purchase one of Paint With Josh's items. He does sign and put his birds in every painting. If you are interested in adding your family to his family, you can do that by request, but he will not paint without the birds. But that has to be a portal page. They're gonna add their birds. Only be a portal page. Oh, we're not just, we're not. <laughs> like this is my thing, we're not so so like a blended family of like 10 members you would never put 13 birds in the sky of a regular painting <laughs> i just wanted to see what your face would do um <laughs> i don't know what that t-rex arms were but that was that was awesome um if you are interested in the exact shirt that Josh is wearing, he does sell them on his website as well as the hat that he is wearing. I would tell you he's wearing the leggings, but the camera doesn't pan down that far, so you'll never know. Uh, he also has prints. If the original paintings are a little out of your budget, you can uh, go for a print. They are also available on the website. Um, but more fun, you, you should buy a puzzle because it's fun to sort of create your own paint with Josh in your living room on your floor with your family. Um, that is true. Uh, these videos are also uploaded onto YouTube for the Super Squad. If you are, uh, if you miss the live or you want to catch up with any of the lives, you can head over to YouTube and join the <laughs> No Thanks says there's puzzles. Be right back. Um, yes, they are. Uh, they <laughs> they what, are what's really the cool. Again? What's, what's the title again? Peace, peace of home. I text you. Can you check your text oh, messages? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I, I also text you twice to tell you that, you know. Oh, that you, I paint on my face? Yes, yes, and you ignored me. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. I was, I was trying really hard. I was like, oh, I gotta tell him he's got paint on his face. Oh, you, you're talking about the background noise of the fans? That's the light. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, oh. 
uh, I just have to start speaking. If I'm if I'm quiet, then you can hear them more. But you know, I just it, it is. Oh. I, I I didn't know if you'd I left a window on. Or we, <laughs> we had miraged into the backyard. Uh, why not come back since this sold? Uh, Tanya, that is a great point. Um, Josh is, uh, Josh doesn't have the kid tonight, so I don't think Josh had any plans. He could come back and paint again tonight. That would, uh, that would give everybody in the comments who did not purchase this painting another opportunity. That would be four paintings in the next 72 hours that you are capable of getting your hands on. Now, oh, what happened to 1007, you ask? Well, I taught that one in a class today at Meadows Mall inside the gallery. So it is available. It's in my store. So just don't think we skipped 1007. I would, that one was done earlier today. And this is, is it piece of home? Like, like a piece or like? <laughs> I'm sorry. Immediately that took me back to the That's passing of uh, the passing of robin williams uh, it is piece of home p-i-e-c-e -E of home e -E don't e it's not even it's not even amusing josh p-i-e-c-e -E, space of space home right. you oh, 11 11 uh, happy Veterans Day for anyone who is a veteran in the comments or anyone who is affected um, by this this great day of veteranism. Veteranism? Is that a word? It should be a word. Uh, if, you are f if you are from a military family or a military spouse, thank you so much for the support that you put in as well. It is not just the people that are deployed or on base. It is all the support by all of the... Uh, the family members. It's a word now. Thank you so much, Archery Girl. So today we shall celebrate veteranism. The wrong button. Trying to do trying to do a drum roll when we spun around the painting. I hit the wrong button. That that sounded like someone in your room was singing. That was the yeah. well, I hit the I hit the one that we're not supposed to hit. Oh, yeah. The drum roll one. Yeah, you have to immediately put the speak the sound machine in your pants if that noise happens yeah right <laughs> oh of course of, of course Tanya. uh it's it's spinny it's spinny winny wheel time oh uh, spinny winny wheel here we go it's coming out by the way, if it lands on crappy candles, Josh buys you a candle. So don't think that anything's free in the world. <laughs> Just give it a painter's bath. Yeah. Are you ready for your spinny winny wheel cry? Here we go. Spinny winny wheel. What do they want it to land on? Like, what is what is your hope? I don't know, but if if no thanks lands on the candle and says no thanks, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, that's if, funny. if they're like, oh, you want a cat? Yeah, no thanks. What do you want? Oh, candles. She says candles. Yay! You can head over to my ah. website anytime if you're bored at 5 p.m pacific standard time tomorrow night you can check out my live where i point poor candles live on the air and i don't make crappy candles i'm just british and ironic and have a very dry sense of humor spin that wheel hey. that's a serious noise <gasps> good job you just want to pull a this one, it's already had paint on it. I'm gonna move it right now. <laughs> Fine, don't worry about it. Fine. Congratulations! Light party time, guys. Warnham, London. Uh, there will be in the next probably 120 seconds a light party happening if you are sensitive or suffer from any form of seizure disorder. Please exit the live immediately. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Sold and we're giving away a hat. It's a good day. Oh, oh. 
Don't worry about the live. Your dancing just made me feel sick. <laughs> that was very bubbly, Jeff. That was very that was very bubbly. It was very bubbly. I was worried for the tripods and the easel. <laughs> I thought my hat my hat my hat was gonna land in the paint. That would be back. that would have been hilarious. Like those those pictures when people break hard and the imprint of the makeup is on the back of the headrest. Like that's just peel the hat off, it looks exactly like the painting. That's funny. Would have been a great time. So <laughs> painting tomorrow night. Painting yeah, again tonight. Yeah, I'll paint again tonight. Actually keep keep talking. I'm gonna pick the canvas up. The time is approximately 8.06 Pacific Standard Time. Josh needs approximately uh, 45 minutes, one hour. How long would hour. you like? Hour. One hour. Josh will be returning in 60 minutes. If you are on the East Coast and midnight is too late for you to stay up, we completely understand. Please come back tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see Josh Paint. Uh, and if that is too late, you can tune in Monday morning at 10 a.m., which would be 1 p.m. Eastern Time, to see Josh Paint again. And he does have a shirt that says, I'll admit it, I watch Paint with Josh Well. He's at work. See? Right there. That shirt is available on his website. If you need an excuse to watch Josh, uh, you can gladly just wear that shirt and just let everybody know that you watch him while you're at work. It's totally acceptable. Okay, guys, this way uh, is, a, is that a baby canvas? Is it? Well, it's, a, it's a baby canvas in comparison. Well, it was like 24 by 30. <laughs> I thought it was an 18 by 24. So no, everybody... Everybody in the comments who I gave that horrible information to, I would like to apologize. Uh, but yeah, even Blau, even Blau Panda agrees. It looks so tiny. It looks so tiny. Right, just bring you guys in closer. There you go. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, Tommy, thank you so much. Um, no thanks, <laughs> says I'm about to go buy some puzzles now. Uh, they really are. They really are amazing. Um, Go, can I gift a candle to no thanks somehow? You sure can if you uh if you can uh send me a message either on TikTok or through the website or in my server if you're you're in my server. Are you not in my server? If you're not in my server, we've got to get you in my server. Um I do I do gifts out a lot. Um and so it would just mean uh giving Josh the candle so that the address doesn't transfer. Um, but yes, by, by all means, feel free to gift, donate, share. I do have a veteran special for the month of November up on my website right now with four, uh, candles where a large amount of the, uh, of the gross revenue received from those candles are going to the Gary Sinise Foundation in support of Veterans Day and are up for the entire month of November. So if you know anyone or you feel like supporting the Gary Sinise Foundation, please head over to my website and purchase those candles. Uh, I have a long list of candles and scoopable wax melts uh, and tiny air fresheners to pour tomorrow during my live. So please, please, please add to that. I paint. I, I paint. No, Josh paints. I don't paint. That would be horrific. I pour candles Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, and uh, you can pick your colors live during my during my life. So it is completely up to you. Um, I do give away a lot of free goodies, just like Josh does. So please feel free to check me out. Uh, Josh will be back 60 minutes time, well, 51 minutes time. So go grab your snacks, popcorn, drink, make yourself comfortable, and come back in approximately 51 minutes. And uh, oh, oh, it's a portal painting. It's a portal painting. A green portal painting. A green portal painting. Fantastic. That 51 minutes will give Josh enough time to post this listing. When you look for the listing, it'll be the only listing that lists the number and the word TikTok and does not have a picture. It is a picture of Josh with the word TikTok behind him. Obviously, he can't post a picture of the painting. He doesn't know what it will look like. So if you are interested in purchasing that, you can purchase it before a piece of paint even touches the canvas and then just watch your masterpiece be painted. Otherwise, you can pick to paint before anybody else possibly gets to it and rush to make that purchase immediately. We thank you for being here. I'm going to take off. And uh, Josh, don't, don't get our make.
You want me to keep talking? I'll happily keep talking. Uh, if you are interested in any form of tutorial or seeing what Josh gets up to or any pictures of his artwork, you can find him on every social media platform. You can also buy his artwork through YouTube, through Google, through Facebook, through Instagram. And if you tap that heart right up there next to his username and send a one coin heart me gift, one of the member rewards is joining his Discord where you will find Josh late at night talking and on Wednesdays streams movies um it, it is a great time and josh is like this 24 hours a day off camera and on camera so please 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 feel free to join the discord come over there we're all over there we all have a great time it's it's, it's a great time it's the exact same thing as here and if you are interested in sending a gift we will force Josh, uh, once he is done gathering all of his stuff, to turn around and face the camera and stand still for approximately 180 seconds, because that's as long as he can stand still for, while you plummet him with gifts so that we can take screenshots and annihilate his self-esteem inside the Discord. Feel free to send gifts in three, two, one, now. Stand still, Josh. I know it's hard, but stand still. <laughs> Keep going. Don't stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you have the worst time standing still. If there is anything you can send that will stick to Josh's face or sit on his head, that would be amazing. Airy Fairy's gifting you with those pink shoes. That's. TikTok needs to see your face in order to stick anything to it. There we go, guys. Uh, that was about as long as Josh can manage to stand still for. <laughs> he did try. You can see the pain on his face from standing still for as long as he can. He can't do it. Oh, Lord. Um, however, if you are interested in dropping those colors, you can happily join the Discord. Uh, you did just watch Josh uh, put a, a coat of liquid clear on the canvas. He uses liquid clear on black canvases and liquid white on white canvases. If you are interested in any of the supplies that Josh uses during his lives, <laughs> you can uh, head over to pinkwithjosh.com where you can find his whole supply list with direct links to Amazon to make it easy for you to purchase. Go says send him a rose gift and he'll say it smells so good. It's his favorite. <laughs> Ooh, spicy chili. Oh, Josh. Got to be hot enough, bro. Got to be hot enough. I got to be hot enough. I don't know what is happening. That is the only time you've ever made me grateful for divorce. <laughs> that was horrific. Please never do that again. <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? This dude. This dude. Next time I see him. Send him to me. Send him to me. Send him he, to me. He stands out there in the in a New York street, right? I'm gonna have to send him a message. So he's in like a hoodie, right? And like a leather jacket, like a total New Yorker, right? And he's like he's like sister and he'll just take this oh we need galaxies, bro. Oh. What did you just throw on the floor? A paintbrush? Is there green paint all over your carpet? I don't I it's not my deposit. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. So good, it's gotta be hugging us, bro. <laughs> oh lord, I don't no, even know. Send somebody send, somebody tag Pappy. It's, it's a New York dude. I don't know his name. Well, I gotta be honest. If he's saying that Hagen Dust is the best ice cream, I'm, I'm, I can't make him wrong with that. You're, you're maybe, horse, horse. maybe uh, ice cream so good, it's gotta be Hagen Dust, bro. Yeah, I, I agree with him a hundred percent. It's just, it's very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> the way he just is stopped that... moving. Yes, Josh, your tongue is super blue. You look like a Sharpie. No. Yeah, they have no, blue tongues. Eating a Sharpie. No, <laughs> no chewing Sharpies. <laughs> 
Um, Gamma Recovery says, what is the liquid clear for? Josh specializes in a technique called wet on wet and without the canvas already being wet prior to his start of painting. A technique, by the way, that was coined by Bill Alexander, who taught Bob Ross. Uh, now Josh knows it. Um, <laughs> ran out of the chain there. Um, without the canvas being wet. Uh, the wet on wet technique would theoretically be wet on dry and it would be very scratchy and not make for a peaceful sounding live. Josh, you have 45 minutes. Archery Girl says blink twice if you need help, Josh. <laughs> I'm a show <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Uh, everybody go grab your snacks. Use the restroom. Come back. Sit on the couch. Enjoy the next however long it's going to take him. You know, once he comes back at nine. Could be 45 minutes. Could be two hours. We, we do not know. Please come back. I will be here. Airy Fairy Faye will be here. Hopefully, no thanks, will be back as well to watch the 9 p.m. If not, it is totally acceptable. We will see you again tomorrow night. But we look... <laughs> Did he get into some Red Bull today? He always gets into Red Bull. That is what he does. His neighbors are ready to explant his house from the neighborhood and plant him somewhere else. Um... <laughs> Your windows are closed, right, Josh? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Otherwise, it sounds like we're watching hockey in here. <laughs> Kylie is all, all, always here. Blah Panda's here. Claire Dollison's here as well. Hey, guys. We look forward to adding you to the Paint with Josh family. I'm not sure what that is. Chicken wings. Oh, are you hungry? So oh, you Red Bull. Got it. No one forgets about you, Kylie, though, saying that you're... Uh, your lyrics have kind of been off recently. You haven't dropped any lyrics. Kylie's normally here with the lyrics. Brandy's here as well, makes the most awesome tumblers. Please feel free to check her out as well. We are a big supporter of small business. If you have a small business, come over to the Discord. Drop it in the small business chat. And I'm leaving. I said that five minutes ago. Are you done now? Are you signing off now? Can I go? Perfect. Have an absolutely wonderful evening. I will be back patiently, quietly. Now he has heartburn. See you guys at 9 p.m. Good night. Good night. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'll be back in 42 minutes. I can't wait until I see you again. So until then, take care. Have the rest of a good day and bye-bye.